Gabby, does it make you jealous I have these photos, frame photos of Igor on my desk? No, because Igor gave you those. Yes, yeah, pretty good. Gifts. It's a thoughtful gift from, from I, here's a friend. The thing. When you give someone a frame, you're like, here, here's the frame. You can put whatever you want in it. But when you give someone a frame for their birthday and it's just pictures of you guys, <laughs> but that's way more meaningful because if he just gave me a frame, I'd frame. go, fuck, I gotta <laughs> fill this. That's work. That's giving someone work. Yeah. I've given her a completed token of our friendship or two. This week we have a international, international question, question. So international loud. question, so international question. Charlie, UK. Bam. Normally I tell them, normally I tell Gabby, Igor's new, what the question is ahead of time. Mm -hmm. But today we're doing something a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. This is a surprise. Allison was really excited. She's like, I'm not gonna tell you anything about this question. Yeah, it's we a don't mystery. know what the question is. It's a yeah. mystery question. Okay. Because I think what's more interesting than answering the question is you guys trying to figure out what the question means. Ready? Okay. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> what? I'm so curious I what know. philosophical worlds we will encounter right now. It's probably, that's what it is, a deep philosophical question. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Charlie from the UK wants to know, have you ever been funky at the wrong time? <laughs> what a couple does meanings that to that. Mean? I mean, right away, I leap to have you smelled not good uh, when you should have been smelling good. So your your main definition of funky is scent. My first reaction was just like like inappropriate, <laughs> like because you were like too riled. Funky. I thought it like meant... maybe you like fuck someone at work. Oh, oh. now that's funky. funky. I like that you were like too like confident or something that you were like oh. too like hubris like you did something too confident and it backfired on you oh but you does would, funky you ever mean that i picture well, a guy with like big shoes and like purple like 70s outfit and he's like walking down the street really lots confident. of texture yeah i guess in my interpretation of that that you could never be too funky okay. let's decide on an interpretation of it no you answer it however you you interpret okay, so it. when was the time mm -hmm. you smelled <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> but you wanted a male perspective, and yeah. this is gonna be a very male perspective. There are some guys, it's a 50-50 split on whether the oh, tips about of- about you being circumcised? The tips of their <laughs> penises. It's very common if you're from Eastern Europe to sure. be, as we call it, uncut, because that is just a, that's how it is. That's Have you how spent it is a lot of world. time defending this to people? Who cares? In his mind. Who cares, <laughs> Igor? Well, Has anyone literally ever cared? The thing that is most- Well, yeah, I mean, this is, after hearing a half dozen times growing up, well, that's exotic. I mean, you do, you, you get an answer to it. Women said that to you? Of yes, course. Yes, multiple, exotic. This is America. A lot of non-white men are not circumcised either. So like, That's true, who a lot of my Latino friends. <laughs> it's true, no, but it's true. I'm just laughing at your use of the accent to say <laughs> Latino. We have to, we have to. Well, but it's so, it's very important. And this is just a time that your penis smelled bad? No, it's very important if, and I am educating also yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you are uncircumcised, you need to be extra great about cleaning because you've mm -hmm. got an extra hood there. You've sure. got a hoodie. And so there are sometimes, there have been sometimes before a hookup well, I, when I didn't know that the hookup was going to happen. Oh. And now it's a surprise hookup. And I've found myself in order to not be funky. I think that honestly, this is the perfect explanation <laughs> of when have you been funky at the wrong time. <laughs> that you haven't cleaned your uncircumcised penis. <laughs> before a surprise hookup. I would argue that it's like, it's not that crazy. Cause like, if let's say you have small boobs, you don't probably have to scrub under the boob oh as my much God. as like you a girl has big boobs. Under your I gotta boob. lift the boob, wash under it, put the boob back down. Yeah. Whoa. I never knew this. Yeah, sure. Are we now a hygiene channel? <laughs> oh my you God, it's what that. you, you always that. wanted. Yeah. <laughs> then I have, and this is more than once. And I don't know if you're still gonna let me into your bathroom after this but I will stand and dip my penis into the sink and oh, give it a little, smart. a rinse. But you're yes. so short. I am shorter than the average And his penis is nine male. feet long. <laughs> <laughs> he dips it gently in the sink. But it is. And... What is to not understand? I have a very important question. Sure. Only one of my armpits smells. Am I dying? <laughs> Conclusion, wash your dick, wash under your boobs, and wash your one smelly armpit. Thank you for watching. <laughs>